From your startup screen, click on Open. Browse to your Chapter 11 folder and open the file Chapter 11 Hydronics. To access the Mechanical Settings dialog box, go to your Systems tab and from either the HVAC Mechanical Plumbing and Piping panels, click on the arrow. It doesn't matter which, as the dialog box is the same for all three. The initial setting we have here is for hidden lines. This gives us the option to cut objects with a hidden line where they cross each other. In previous exercises, we've seen the duct settings. Here we want to concentrate just on pipe settings. For single line duct work, fittings can be shown at an annotation scale. We can define a pipe size suffix, or if you prefer, a prefix. We have a connector tolerance and also a rise drop symbol annotation size. We can define the default settings for our pipe runs. Here we have hydronic supply using a specific pipe type and its default offset from the current working level. This can be defined for all your pipe systems. We have a similar process for branch pipe work where we can do exactly the same thing. Select the system, select the pipe type and its default offset. For segments and sizes, we can define the material associated with a particular pipe. Notice here that we can delete or create our own pipe segments. We can assign a roughness and a description. As with ductwork, we have our size catalog. Although for piping, these are slightly different, as we have a nominal size, and then an internal diameter and an outside diameter. Also whether these pipes are used in the size lists that we use, and whether they're also used in our sizing calculations. We have fluids. Here we have water. We can add and delete. Their temperature, viscosity and density. So for example, if we were working on a hospital and we were placing medical gas pipe work, we could create a new fluid for oxygen and put in our temperature ranges, viscosities and densities in the table. Finally, we have slopes. These are the default slope values assigned when we're creating pipe runs. We can delete slopes and add new slopes 